it's really hard to figure out on your own. So this is just the default Blender scene. It's the we've got our cube, so we want to delete that by hitting X. And then, since this is a text tutorial, we want to add text. So we go over to add text right there. That's pretty simple, but this isn't like a normal word processor because see, you click on text, nothing happens. You can't edit it or do anything like that. So in order to edit it, we need to go into tab. We'd hit tab to go into edit mode. So then if you hit delete, you can just delete the text and it's just any like any other boring old word processor. So I'll just type out Adam, my name, and then if we go out of tab, we can see there's my name, just like I typed it. And then, that's just kind of a boring, flat text. You could get that in any old word processor, but this is Blender, so we want it to be 3D. So you can do that by using the geometry mode. I'm going to add a new screen so you can split the screen out so you can see better. Okay, now we have extrude. This makes it taller, so I'll hit extrude 1. And then you can see if I go into 3, see, this has made the text pretty tall. This is taller than you normally want text, but this is just kind of to show how it works. You can goof around with it. You can do any type of thing. And then we have bevel. Bevel kind of bevels in the edges. It angles them out a little bit. So let's say bevel 0 0.2. There we are. See, that's a little bit more about that's more bevel than you normally want. It is 0 0.02. Yeah, and that looks really good. You can just see that the edges have just started to go out a little bit. So that's exactly how the Blender text thing does. It's very simple. It's not really that complicated. It looks a little bit more complicated than it really is because there's a, like I said, that steep learning curve. You need to know a few keyboard shortcuts. But that's really all there is to it. Whenever you're done editing your text, you can just hit Alt C to convert it to a mesh so you can edit it more, you can curve it around, you can do things like that. So once you convert it to a mesh, just hit Tab and there's your purchases. It's very simple. Just that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching this and hopefully I'll be doing more later. If you have a request for a tutorial, just post one in the comments below and if it's a good one, I'll do it. Thank you very much.